With highs in the 80s again today, you might not be thinking about winter, but for folks at Seven Springs, the thoughts of snow are well underway. With that comes a need for workers. Staffing is moving in the right direction. We think that our jump to $20, $20 an hour minimum here in the fall is going to make a huge difference. Brett Cook is the vice president and general manager for Seven Springs, Hidden Valley, and Laurel Mountain, the three resorts now owned by Vail Resorts. One change this year is some requirements for staff. The company announcing this week employees are no longer required to be vaccinated. So what went into that decision was really paying attention to the, the health officials and following the guidance that, the, that them and the CDC have come out with. And, you know, we obviously want to do what's safe for all of our guests and our employees. And that's the guidance that we're moving forward, to, uh, forward with. Cook says previous restrictions when it comes to guests will also be lifted to start the season. The resorts are also offering additional hours this winter to give guests more access to the slopes. The pandemic keeping so many industries on their toes. Cook says he doesn't expect that to change. The pandemic is forever changing. And so we're going to continue to monitor things throughout the uh, next couple of months and in, I'm sure a couple of years and adjust as necessary. The good news officials have already set their opening dates. November 25th, the earliest at Seven Springs. We posted more information about the changes for the upcoming season, including new passes at WTAE.com.